morning, YouTube family. Okay, so we are going to be heading to the park today. I didn't show you guys my morning routine because I think you've seen enough of that. Um, we're meeting some friends. Today is technically our first day of school, but my daughter actually stayed up last night and I think she did the whole week of school already. Um, I showed you guys in a video a while back, if you guys didn't see it, it's in my homeschool playlist, how we are organizing our school for this year in that file box. Super simple, super easy, and we are able to get it done really quick. Um, I still have to work with my son today on reading, but otherwise we're good, but we just wanted to meet these friends in the park. It's supposed to have been the last couple weeks and haven't been able to make it, so super excited that we're gonna be able to do it today. But that my is the plan for- My hair is on fire, my hair is on fire. Oh no. <laughs> No, it looks like baby um, Jack Jack. Baby Jack Jack, Jack, Jack. Jack from The Incredibles. <laughs> Back, plan B Halloween costume. Plan B Halloween costume. Baby Jack Jack will just like spike it all up and spray it up really tall. Yeah. That would be awesome. All right. So we're going to keep getting ready and we'll take you guys along to the park to show you guys um, what we're going to do there. We're going to actually work with the service dog. Um, there <laughs> We're going to work with Kavik a little bit with just crowds and other people and stuff like that. Or we're... bratty kids because we experience that just about everywhere. Yeah, unfortunately. Actually, kids have been better. The kids have been fine. It's been the parents. But then you also have like some little kids that just, the parents, like I feel like as a parent, you know if your kid's going to be grabbing at a dog's face, right? Like, I don't know. Like Maybe they've never been around we, a dog before, but I feel like... We friends and they had a one-year-old and she was like petting him and he looked away and she kind of like... Like, like grabbed his at his face and like grabbed his eye a bit so he was like whoa it kind of got scared but most of our dogs don't like babies because the babies they have had bad experience with babies mm -hmm. like lilo's leg has been like almost Pulled. dislocated and our old our dog old specs dog leg was was like they were holding her like <laughs> I'm like what the heck are you like trying yeah. to circumstance us? yeah Those a lot of kids just aren't very good with dogs and so like that is always like a concern and so it's on some you yeah you would think so but more kids than not that we meet they just aren't that good with animals um okay. a lot of like the rescues that we've worked with they won't actually give a small dog to a family that has a bunch of little kids just because of that concern um if they already have small dogs then that's always like a difference but or us or older i don't know and we have a bunch of dogs so. yeah yeah we like my kids have always been very gentle with the dogs very loving very careful with them but that's not always the I case actually haven't bit my dog that wasn't ours and that was ross and it was kind of hard because they spoke Spanish, so there was a language barrier. I'm like, can I figure it out? They're like, oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, and then, and then the dog, because they're like a little chihuahua. I'm like, okay. So that's it, like, too. Oh, like, a lot of parents you. don't, I don't know, like, a lot of pet owners are like, yeah, you can pet my dog. Like, it's never bit anybody, but you don't know what these kids are going to do. So that's we, been a hard thing because. aggressive dogs from carts and other aggressive fake service dogs come after Kavik, mm -hmm. but so far nothing's happened. He's just like, okay, like, back up and trying to work here. Yeah. Yeah, he gets very serious. It's so crazy because we put on his vest and he gets very serious. And when that vest goes on, he doesn't play. He doesn't. He's very serious. Like if somebody comes up to him, he's like, you can't pet me. If another dog comes up to him, he's like, stay away from me. I'm like working. He wants to play and then he'll like, I want to play, but I'm working right now. So I'm like... Oh, like he can't make up his mind. And it was crazy. Like, even the other day, I was like, well, you know what? If they ask us to remove his vest at security rather than fight with them, let's work on doing that. But the problem is when we remove his vest, that's his release, too. So, like, we did it yesterday, and he's, like, totally following her, sticking right by her side, like, yeah, glued to like, her leg. She was asking me, like, what are what is this? I'm like, this is this and this and this. And she's like, oh, wow, he actually knows everything. Yeah. Like, even I walk up to a spotlight the desk and I'm I leave like a oh, foot room and I sit on the top and he goes and sits on my feet yeah it's meant to mimic like if you were in a store you want him to like tuck in between you and like what you're looking at so people don't mess with him so he doesn't get run over so he's really good at all of those things but it was funny because we I said let's practice like our um, airport because we're getting ready to fly in a little while and he's never been in an actual airport he's good with turbulence because we drove up a crazy road in town and then <laughs> We had my friend um, pat him down. Or, oh, yeah, so we've remember. been working with it, but I was like, let's just do that. Let's try it without a vest. And it was so funny because we had all the other dogs. So we have eight dogs. So we had six other dogs. Um, I'm sorry, we have seven dogs. So we had six other dogs. 
in the house playing around and he was still focusing on working which was really good he's like hi yes it was so funny because literally she's like sit you know stay and all that which we use different commands for all of that but but we had told him these commands and then she goes to take off his vest and he literally just jumps up and is like i'm gonna play and then he like flops on the ground like all right i'm done and then he like lays down like okay i'm good i'm tired i'm work i've been working and it's so, it's really hard, but we want to work with him on some of these commands. So I think we'll bring um, either a long leash or a rope or something um, because we will be in a more busy public area. But he's I, done he's so good. He's supposed to stay close. Like, she was telling, because I use heel. I, that's like one of the only ones I used for the same, like, actual meaning. And she was telling her other dog to heal, and he was like on her, on her yeah, left side. She works him I'm on. left hand dominant, but I, I use my right hand for like writing. And like drawing and stuff like that, but I'm left hand dominant. So. so she has him heal on her left, and I've always been a right side healer. So I had Star, the sister, working on my right side, and I was telling her to heal. And he comes up, and he's like on my left leg, following like, and you? healing on it. And I was like, well. "You're so funny." So yeah, which his sister is just a spaz. Like she has no manners, or like she's, she's a tough one Squirrel. to train. Um, whereas he's so easy to train, which is crazy. Oh, she's getting distracted easily. Oh, true. But all right, guys. So we've been rambling on for a while. We're going to head to the park. I hope you guys enjoy this little boring blog today, but we'll take you along anyways. All right, guys. So we are back from the park. We actually ended up hanging out there for a few minutes because it was 108 degrees. It was so hot and we were just miserable and there were a bunch of bees. And so we ended up going to a coffee shop that has like a room with a bunch of games. And so the kids, we had our coffee, like we each got like a little ice drink. And then um, we hung out and the kids played games and had a lot of fun. So it was really good to hang out with some friends. Again, I don't record usually when our friends are around just because I want to respect other people's privacies and not put them in videos. But the kids had a lot of fun and now we are working on our homeschool. All right, so he's hard at work here on his desk. He's like, <laughs> um, I don't know if I've showed you guys a full tour yet of our homeschool room and all the remake that we did this year. But if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments below and I'll get working on that video. My daughter actually did all of her schoolwork last night, which I think she already told you that. And so she's done. And so she's just finishing up her chores because we did head out this morning before we did all that stuff. Um, we have a big storm coming in, so I really should get outside and feed the horses before that comes in. But other than that, I don't think we're going to do much else today. Um, we had like a little different work schedule for my husband. And so things were like a little different. We didn't run some of the errands we were going to run in town because we ended up hanging out with our friends a lot longer than we plan to so that's kind of what's going on today and I'll keep you guys posted all right so you guys missed my morning feedings here we are evening feedings <laughs> just uh getting all the horses fed just got all the dog poop piffed up that's always a fun chore um I don't have we don't do the chickens or anything with the ducks at night because we have an automatic closing door um and then they still have food from this morning I can still see it scattered on the ground so um yeah we're pretty much evening chores are a lot easier <laughs> and i like to take advantage of the fact that it is cloudy we've got a huge storm coming over those mountains so um enjoying the cooler weather and taking advantage of that and just got like i said the dog poop all picked up and everything before that storm comes in it makes it even worse so um horses are all taken care of enjoying their hay and I'm going to go back in and spend some family time with the hubby and kids and um, barbecue some brats. We have some brats to have tonight with some sour cream and some big old Kaiser rolls. And I'm not sure what we're going to have with our brats. Don't know. I haven't figured that out. Oh, we got watermelon. That'd be good. Watermelon brats. That's what we're going to have for dinner. <laughs> so I'm going to get to that. Just waiting for that last water bucket to fill up and it just hit the top. So I'm gonna go turn that off and go on inside and get dinner cooking.
we got the brats on. Now we're just waiting for them to cook. And then I'm gonna go warm up the sauerkraut, get the watermelon out, and we've got a quick, easy, simple dinner all ready to go. All right, guys, so that was our night. We had dinner, it was delicious, and then we got to bed early. We're going to bed early because it was a long day um, in an early morning, but we will um, probably head to Tucson possibly tomorrow and run some errands, um, and then that's kind of it for the day. So um, we'll take you guys along, and we'll see you guys then. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. Bye for now.